this is the second of two videos on optimization, which is part of the differentiation topic. Now, if you watched the last optimization video, I explained exactly what that was. Um, so if you're not very sure about what optimization is, I would definitely go back and rewatch the last lesson. But just to summarise, it is finding the best solution um, for a situation from all feasible solutions. And there might be some sort of constraint involved um, when we're trying to find the greatest or least value of that function. So, we're going to look at a second example. Um, similar to the last example, and that is about a box, um, but the, the working is really quite different. So, an open box with a square base has volume 236 cubic centimetres. Taking x as the length of the base show that the surface area of the inside of the box can be expressed as x squared plus 1024 over x. In part b, find the dimensions of the box which will minimise the surface area and calculate this area. So, obviously we'll look at part a first in the solution and a quick sketch of what the box actually looks like. So we're told it has a square base and it has volume 236 cubic centimetres and in part A it says taking x as the length of the base there we go, there's x and we know that, well, if, if we know the length of the, the base we know the length and the breadth we also know the volume so I'm just going to call the height of the box h for now now, we're asked to find the surface area. So, if we want to find the surface area, it's a good idea to look at what the, look at what the box would look like flattened. So, it's going to look something like this. That's the net of that box. And you can see here that all of these lengths are x. Um, so, that was the length of the base. And then that also means that the length of the top of each part of the box is also x. You can see those there. And each of these joins here, these um, are equivalent to the height. So those are all h. Now again we're asked to find the surface area. Um, so if we start finding the area of each part of this. So firstly the base is a square. So the area will be x multiplied by x. So that gives us x squared. And then each of the the rectangles around the outside. So find the top one firstly. So that's x multiplied by h, just say hx or xh. Now you might notice actually all of these rectangles are the same. They are all xh for the area. So if we want an expression for the area, the surface area, we can have area equals x squared plus 4xh, because these four were all the same. Now, the expression we were asked um, to find, we were asked to show that the surface area was this, x squared plus 1024 over x. Now you can see we've got the x squared here, but this 1024 over x, ours doesn't look much like that at the moment. We have... Um, a, a number here, a coefficient. We have an x, although the, the x is dividing here, um, so that's not much use at the moment, but there's this h lingering around that actually isn't in the expression that we're asked to prove. So I need to find something um, the h is equal to. So I'm going to go back to my original picture um, of my 3D box and I know that the volume is 236 cubic centimetres I know that the length of my base is x and I've got my height which I just called h now I also know that the volume is length times breadth times height the volume is 236 the length and the breadth are both x so that gives us x squared and we've got h there so we want something in place of h. So if we make h the subject of the formula by dividing throughout by x squared, 
we get h equals 236 over x squared. So what we can then do is we can take this back to our um, equation for the surface area. So x squared plus 4x multiplied by h, but now h is 236 over x squared. Now if we expand that, we get x squared plus 1024x over x squared. So there's the 1024 appearing that we're looking for. We can see that x over x squared um, will simplify. It will just give us the over x there. So we have now proven what the question asked us. So the surface area is x squared plus 1024 over x as required. So just now would be a good time to pause the video and copy down the solution for part A and then come back and get the answers for part B. Okay, welcome back folks. So we're now going to look at the answers for part B. Now, like the first example in the last video, if you couldn't do part A, that's okay, we can still do part B because we're asked to find the dimensions of the box which will minimise the surface area um, and we know that the surface area is x squared plus 1024 over x. So in order to find the minimum we need to differentiate um, but we also need to firstly So we know that the surface area is equal to x squared plus 1024 over x. Now we need to differentiate this, but before we do so, we need to prepare it for differentiation because we have a, um, a fraction with an algebraic term on the denominator. So I want to express that as x squared plus 1024x to the negative 1. This is now in a differentiable form. So dA by dx is going to be equal to 2x minus 1024x to the power negative 2. Now, I can rewrite this again with positive indices. So that's 2x minus 1024 over x squared. Now I know that minimums occur when dA by dx is equal to 0. Um, so that means that 2x minus 1024 over x squared is equal to 0. Now here I can multiply throughout by x squared so that I can eliminate this fraction here. So when I multiply throughout by x squared I get 2x cubed minus 1024 and 0 multiplied by x squared is still 0. Now I can start solving this by adding 1024 to both sides and then dividing by 2 and then cube rooting both sides gives me x equals 8 centimetres. Now I want to check that this definitely is a minimum so I use my nature table, I've got x, I've got my dA by dx um, I'm just putting that in there so that I know I'm substituting into the right thing. And then I've got the shape of my graph. So I know that x is equal to 8. And when x is 8, dA by dx is equal to 0. And the shape we can just denote with a small horizontal line. So looking at points on either side of the 8, I'm going to use 1 and 10. Um, again, because if this, if this is a non-calculator paper, we want values that are easy to work with. So when x is equal to 1, dA by dx, that will be 2 minus 1024. So we know that that answer will be negative and the shape of the graph, well, is decreasing. It's going down. When x is 10, we're going to have 20 minus 10.24 here. Um, when we substitute 10 in. So that gives us a positive and we can see the graph is increasing. So we know that we have a minimum when x is equal to 8 centimetres. Now we're not finished the question. The question asks us to find the dimensions of the box. 
So we have the dimension of the base. We know that that's 8 by 8, but we don't know the height. So from part A, we know that the expression for the height was 236 over x squared. So if we substitute x equals 8 in, that gives us that h is 3.6875 centimetres. Now, it asks us to also calculate the surface area. So, when x is equal to 8, we can take the expression for the surface area, x squared plus 1024 over, eight, over x, and we can substitute 8 in. So, 8 squared plus 1024 over 8 is equal to 192 square centimetres. And that is our final answer. So just now would be a good time to pause the video before the screen goes blank and copy this down in the notes.